Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Um, so it actually took quite a bit longer for this to grow than I was expecting. So it is actually evening of the uh, the next day from the last episode. But the wheat is ready. Uh, we actually have this weird... This is where our, uh, we our weeds were. And you can tell there is definitely fewer or much less wheat. I don't know if I ac it looks like like I accidentally drove through this part with the tractor, but either way, um, the game does provide pretty clear visuals if you don't weed correctly, uh, which we did that did that on purpose. Now I need to enable straw swath. So a lot of people, including myself. Uh, realized that last time I did not pick up the straw swath from the uh, south side of the field. I, I was kind of in the middle of vacation this week. Um, again, a very socially distanced, safe, uh, and intelligent vacation. And I, it, it sort of hit me all of a sudden, like, oh wait, I uh, completely forgot to to do that. I just I, I have a loading wagon. I saw it on the ground. I meant to actually pick it up so that we could earn just that little bit of extra money from uh, straw, since it's basically free money uh, once you buy the loading wagon. And realized that I had already sewed over it. So we will not forget again, plus we're going to have a lot more this time to pick up. So I'm going to do a oops, I'm going to do a pass or two by myself. Um, and then we will hire a worker to continue um, harvesting. I did get a comment that the so talking about animals now. I was mentioning that there used to be one on Farming Sim 17 called Table Manners, which would keep the cleanliness at 100% so that you didn't have to deal with losing productivity and you didn't have to worry about picking it up. So I got a comment that said that the uh, 2019 version is called Happy Animals. So I actually went to download it, but it looks like the Happy Animals mod also does a lot of other things for the animals. It um, delivers straw and it also feeds and waters them, which I don't want. Uh, that is something I can do and should do on my own. The only reason I don't want to do cleanliness is because I just, I really, really, really dislike it. Um, so. I thought that mod was maybe a little too intrusive to the game. So I guess we'll just deal with having 90% productivity or maybe eventually I'll just buy a belt and uh, whoop, there we go. Uh, actually just deal with cleanliness. Who knows, but probably won't get there today. Now let's go figure out, not figure out, I know how to do this. This part's pretty easy, but let's just go get this and start picking up our straw, figure out where to sell it. I'll probably go into the help menu a little bit because I don't remember the symbol. The symbols, or at least maybe just because I was used to them, I th the symbols used to be a lot clearer to me when it was straw and grass, and now it, uh, it doesn't, it's not as... I should probably actually turn this on. There we go. I should pick it up. Oh, okay, never mind. It, it shows you right in the bottom right hand corner what it looks like. So it's a pile, a triangle with like little V's in it. Um, yeah, I just feel like the symbol for that and hay and grass used to be super, super clear. And now if we look here, they're all sort of similar. So there's so there's straw, as we just found out. 
and then one of these is grass and one of these is hay. If you go to the help menu, you can find it. Somewhere they'll tell, they'll show you the symbols. Um, but again, it's not super great having to look up. There we go. So straw, um, there, grass is the one that looks like a surprise, and hay is this one that looks like hay, I guess? I don't know. Not a big deal. Just something to... something we have to try to kind of memorize um, the difference between them. Now, one thing about the loading wagon is we can't hire a worker, but it's a pretty fast job. We can uh, sort of tear through the field and, and go over this pretty quickly. It's just a matter of doing lots of passes. We could potentially let the harvester finish and then buy a windrower, but I don't think that's going to be worth our money yet because they're not cheap. Yeah, even like this one's hardly worth it. And then this one's already at 23. Oh, that is a large one. Actually, no, that's just a fancy one. This is a large one. Either way. So yeah, not worth our time yet, um, unfortunately, because it would be nice. Even that, actually, that $10,000 one might be but we don't have a lot of money. Um, actually, right now we have no money. We have negative money. Uh, we have like $470,000 worth of loans taken out, which means our midnight payment is like 3500 or so, which isn't great. Uh, but we will, we will get there. We will definitely get to a million. It's just going to take a bit of time. Um, I think at this point I will either skip ahead or fast forward and just wait until we have a full loading wagon and then we will figure out where to sell it. So here's something. Um, I'm going to shut this off. So I accidentally dumped a little bit of straw here, which is on a different piece of property. Uh, the other reason I stopped is that the, the uh, harvester is almost full, so we need to get the tipper. Um, but anyway, and now that that piece of straw is on a different property, my tipper must be by the chickens. Um, again, it's been about a week since I recorded, so I there I, I can see it. Um, yeah, but since the straw is on a different piece of property now, I can't pick it up, even though it's my straw. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of some of these limitations with land ownership, but I, I guess it makes sense. Let's see, we have just a little bit of wheat, so let's um, let's make sure they're full. Okay, we'll top them off before we go collect, and then um, we can probably just sell whatever we make, just because we really need the money. Well, Maybe they're full enough, because it is not letting me unload, or I'm doing something wrong, but either way, they're probably good. So let's just go collect this, so that the harvester doesn't stop too long. You can see I have time down to one. Uh, I, I'm going to just manage the time a little better. I think we're going to have to if we have any hope of succeeding um, in this Let's Play. So. We'll keep it down low when we have workers hired so that we don't have to pay them too much. We also don't want to go too fast through the days without being productive because then our loan payment chips away at our profit or our revenue, I guess.
Um, I guess we can, while that's unloading, you can see it's still going. We can check straw, and it looks like there's only one place, and that is the barn. And it sells for barely anything, uh, 79 per thousand. Which means it may be worth just... Well, the problem is we don't have a storage... unit. Uh, how much is a hay? Or what, are, what do they call it? Hayloft? 90,000? Yeah, we definitely can't afford that. So it's either keep it in the... So your options are um, keep it in the loading wagon and just sort of use the loading wagon itself as storage, which maybe we'll do once we sell. We might be able to get two, maybe on to three wagons. Um, you can do that, or you can just dump it on the ground, and then when you need it, just pick it up. But I, that usually tends to get messy and time consuming and isn't quite worth it, so. I think what we'll do is for sure sell one of these, because we're going to have 20... I can't remember this hold, it's probably around 24,000. So it's 70, 2400... It'll be, what, around 1500 or 2000 dollars worth, which at this point we can definitely use. Uh, 23,000. So let's turn the, uh, the wagons off. Now let's find where the barn is so we can sell it. And it's pretty close. Obviously, if we had animals right now, I'd be more concerned with trying to store it a bit, but uh, we are probably quite a ways away from having sheep just because in order to buy sheep, we have to buy a sheep, uh, what do they call it, pasture or something? Where is animal sheep pen? Oh, dock house. Hmm. Yeah, sheep pasture, 65 grand. That'll probably be our next one, because sheep are also pretty easy. If I remember right, it's water, and then straw. I think they need straw. And then uh, grass or hay. But that might be different than what I'm, what I'm used to. So if we go here, I think we can sell... So we're going to sell 23,000 and hopefully get about, what, 1,500 I said? Eighteen, okay. I'll take that. We can probably do at least one more load, and then whatever we get in the whatever's extra, whatever's after a second wagon load, we'll just keep in the wagon just to make, just to have on hand in case we get to sheep sooner than I expect. So again, I'll probably, let's skip forward until we have um, a full wagon or a full harvester. Okay, so we've actually caught up to the harvester a little bit. Um, and one thing we can start doing is of course getting our next field planted. I think we're gonna do canola. Uh, right now what we plant isn't a huge concern. Um, obviously we want wheat or barley for our chicken feed and straw is nice when we get animals that need straw but right now we don't really have a great concern so we can kind of plant anything oh why did i do that that is not the button i wanted to hit oh man i wanted to hit i
And now it's like not reloading. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to hit Y to select seed, and I hit I for unload. Anyway, um, yeah. So all this other, all these other crops will become more important once we actually have animals that need them, like oats. You know, when we get horses, which might be our next animal. Those are pretty good. Pretty good profit. Um, yeah, let's start this. We may have to go fill it up with some seed soon. And then this we can continue. And I'm assuming the harvester... Actually, we can check that while we're out and about. 70% um, full, so we got a ways to go there. And I will see you in a minute. Okay, so we will set this down, and we'll go pick up our dipper so that we can unload the harvester. catch it on this side so that we don't run over our wheat. Alright, fire him. Pipe out. Run over my tractor. Oh boy. That was not ideal. We might be able to finagle it a bit. Come on. Luckily the wheat doesn't fall out after huge mistakes. Usually we can... Well, maybe not. Uh, it's... Oh, it's so close. We'll get this. Does this happen to anyone else? Because I feel like it happens to me every other episode. Um, and even off camera. It happens a lot. Okay, you, that used to like mess up the physics a bit when you would detach and uh, attach like that. Usually I would get the front loader and help me out, but that's on this tractor. So... Here's what we can try. Now I don't want to reset the... Wait, did I just enter? I don't want to reset the... Okay. Um, we'll just get rid of that worker. Let's try this sentence again. Okay, we don't want to reset the tipper because I think that will, and I'm not going to test it because this, there's too much wheat in there, but I think that'll reset the wheat as well, which will empty it. Um, so from what I remember, everything you res when you reset a vehicle, everything empties except for fuel. Thankfully, if it reset fuel, I would be a complete mess. But for now, let's, uh, we should, when we attach the wa uh, the tipper to this tractor, it should right itself just fine. There may be some weird physics where I fly up in the air. I don't know if that's still a, a thing that happens in Farming Simulator, but it used to be a fun, a fun side effect of attaching things that were toppled over, so we'll uh, check this out and see. Hmm. 
Moment of truth. Ah, it's fine. There, that wasn't so bad. And we got everything back to normal. So what I was trying to do was empty wheat. So let's go back and get this under the pipe. We'll let that unload. We'll start this. Good. This still has quite a... Wait a minute. I'm in the wrong vehicle. Okay, so it looks like our tipper is full. So let's sell it and see how much we can get. Um, looks like we're not all... Looks like we still have this. This needs to grow. I thought the whole thing had grown. Um, let's start this. Okay. Where are we selling the wheat? If we go here, 759 at Port Northwest again. And that's the one way up by the Lime Station. Yeah. So this will be a fairly lengthy drive. So I will skip ahead until we can earn some money. Okay, so wasn't too bad of a drive. Looks a little longer or a little farther away on the map. Um, so we are here. I can get through this little area now. Um, 10,000. Okay. Let's see what we get. It might be enough to at least cover our midnight loan payment. So we've done that. And what we'll do actually is pay off $5,000 and that'll lower the interest just a slight little bit. Repay. Now we're only down 465,000 and ideally and, and I don't know if I can quite stick to this, it's gonna be tough, ideally we won't take out any more loans. Um, but but at a certain, eh, I can't, I can't make that promise. I mean, if we have a hundred thousand dollars we can take out and start sheep, then we'll make money faster with sheep than without. So it's it's kind of well, okay. For now, we'll just pay off our loans until we have enough to venture into something else. Yeah. So anyway, let's get back and actually, I should check. I want to make sure I don't sow over uh, the wheat, so we're going to unhire. And we'll speed up time. I, sh I thought that was my that was my mistake. I thought the entire field was grown. Um, and obviously it's not, so we're going to have this weird, we're going to continue having this weird uh, staggering cr rotation where two-thirds of our field is grown and the other third needs time. So what I'll do with this field is once it's planted, I will make sure to wait until the entire thing is harvestable, and then we can just get back on track with one field, one growth stage. Keep it simple because... Um, eventually we'll ha we'll have a second field. One thing we could look at is uh, this field 28. We can plow and sort of make like a half field and then we can keep that sort of for like just wheat and barley and then keep field 26 for 
everything else we need. Uh, usually my go-to is canola because it sells for a lot because it, it has a low yield. So we can harvest, basically, um, we can we can take fewer trips to sell because more because it has a low yield if we uh, why am I having difficulty explaining this it has a low yield so uh, instead of like needing three tippers for a harvest we might only need one um, and then it sells more to it sells four more to accommodate that four thousand dollars of loan interest that is a lot of money uh, so that's why I usually stick with canola uh, again until we actually need a variety of crops for uh, animal use. Okay, after a very roundabout way of getting back to the farm, uh, we made it. So I'm going to put the tipper up here so that it is close. Make sure to disconnect the correct thing. Gotta get my fork. There we go. Um, I think for the rest of this episode, let's do a few more passes of straw. And hopefully by then the rest of the field will be harvestable and we can sort of set that to finish by the next episode. Um, if you have a preference and would like to let me know uh, if, like when I do things that are sort of like mundane, TD, you know, like when I have to harvest a whole field or basically just have to do something for a long time like that. Uh, there's sort of two things I go back and forth between. I either skip ahead and just kind of fade in and out, um, or I will s s wait a minute, I filled up again. I wasn't even aware we were close. So while I talk, I will, uh, yeah. We can go sell this. This part of the field is taking a very long time to grow, and we might as well set this So yeah, either I either skip ahead with a little fade out, fade in, um, or sometimes I will like fast forward and, and set it to I'll speed up the video and set it to uh, some sort of free copyright, free track uh, that I'll credit in the description um, that we can actually see what I'm doing. If you have a preference, let me know. I know in the past I've heard kind of both sides. People enjoy both. Um, the only downside to the music one is that sometimes I get copyright. I'm probably saying the wrong, the wrong thing. Copyright striked. Um, and maybe that's not exactly what it is, but I'll have like a challenge on it, even though I'm crediting it like I'm supposed to and all that. So it can become quite a quite a bother. But if people enjoy that more, it's not that big a deal. So, um, or if you would rather just skip those parts, let me know and uh, then I'll know what to do in the future and I can just do one or the other. Or if you want to just watch it in real time in silence, I'm assuming nobody enjoys that. Um, but I guess if you do, let me know. That will, that will definitely make the videos a lot longer. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to call that an episode. And I think before the next one, I'm going to make sure 
this guy gets sowed uh, and this gets harvested and um, I'll pick up this straw uh, this gal sorry and uh, then the next time we start we can maybe sell some eggs and, and focus on what step to take next uh, this time I can slow down time again all right so that'll be a day as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, leave a comment if you have something you would like to ask or uh, say, like and or subscribe. And of course, as always, have yourselves a very nice day.